the icevi the nippon foundation mathematics package for teachers video series abacus as a mathematical tool title of the video assumed quotient is the real quotient with a single digit reminder let us take the example 1756 divided by 23 let us take the example 1756 divided by 23 and demonstrate how the assumed quotient becomes the real quotient in the process of division and also get a single digit reminder let us set the dividend 1756 56 in the extreme right of the abacus that is 1 in the thousands column 7 in the hundreds column 5 in the tens column and 6 in the units column let us set the number 23 on the extreme left of the abacus as the highest digit of the dividend is 1 which is less than the highest digit of the divisor which is 2 there is no need to skip a, a column in setting the quotient that means the quotient should be set to the immediate left of the number 1 now let us consider the first digit of the dividend which is smaller than the first digit of the divisor and therefore we have to take uh, the first two digits of the dividend and in this case it is 17 now ask how many twos in 17 we get 8 as a general rule let us reduce 1 from this 8 and set 7 to the immediate left of the dividend now let us multiply 7 with the divisor 23 and subtract it from the dividend 7 multiplied by 2 is 14 and therefore we have to subtract 1 from the thousands column and 4 from the hundreds column for doing this we have to clear 5 in the upper abacus and add 1 in the lower abacus now let us multiply 7 with 3 which is 21 that should be reduced from the dividend that is 2 from the hundreds column and 1 from the tens column in the tens column we have to clear 5 in the upper abacus and add 4 now we are left with the number 146 in the dividend now take the first two digits of the dividend which is 14 by saying there are 7 twos in 14 reduce 1 by applying the general rule and therefore set 6 as the second digit of the quotient and it should be set to the right of the already set quotient 7 now let us multiply 6 with 23 6 multiplied by 2 is 12 that means we have to clear one bead in the hundreds column and then two from the tens column in the next stage we have to multiply 3 with 6 which gives 18 and therefore we have to reduce one from the tens column and eight from the units column we cannot reduce eight from the units column and therefore we clear one bead in the tens column and in order to compensate that we have to add two in the units column now we are left with eight in the units column eight is less than 23 and therefore there is no adjustment necessary in the assumed quotient in this case our assumed quotient has become the real quotient and in many cases this happens as mentioned in the previous exercise adjustment can always be done in the quotient when the remainder is larger than the divisor let us look at the results part 
in any double digit divisor the possible remainder may also be a double digit number and therefore we should treat uh, the two right extreme columns as the places for the remainder and the one to the left of it is the column separating the quotient and the remainder. In this case, the column immediate to the left of the remainder indicates 0. That means the remainder is 0, 8. And the third column from the right is the one which is separating the quotient and the remainder. Therefore, the result in this problem is 76 as the quotient and 8 as the reminder.